Hi, my name is Dennis Shirk. I'm the lead producer at Firaxis Games for Sid Meier's Civilization V and Gods and Kings. For those of you not familiar with Civilization V, this is a game about you, the player, taking the role of some of history's greatest leaders and greatest civilizations. You're building wonders, you're researching technology, generally taking your people from the Stone Age to the Space Age. And I'm here to talk to you about something amazing, and that's Civilization V running for the first time on an Ultrabook inspired by Intel with full touch integration and uh, Windows 8. So here we are on the main menu. There's a new icon down in the bottom right hand corner that takes the player uh, through the different gesture and touch controls that we put into the game. This is all going to be familiar to anybody who's played on an iPad game or on a tablet before. And we're going to go ahead in and start a new game. We've worked closely with Intel over the last few months to really take advantage of uh, Intel's third gen core processors and HD graphics. This really allowed us to bring the look and feel that we expect uh, out of our game onto a mobile platform like this. This is something that we normally can only get from a desktop, which is what's so amazing about this particular platform that Intel has us to, or give us to work with. Let's go ahead and start. Now, if you're, you can look around the map with a two finger zoom, you can do your typical you know, pinch and spread for zooming and uh, unzooming. We're gonna go ahead, found our first city. Now we can move units around the map the typical way using the controls over here on the left, or we can simply, it's a touch screen, point and drag. Everything else in the interface is completely touch enabled, so we can pretty much have full control over anything we want with no mouse and no touchpad. So everything in here is touch enabled. It doesn't matter if you're in the tech tree, look around research new technologies, you're in the policy trees, you're in the civilopedia. It's all available to the player and a three finger tap will take you right back out into the main menu if you need to exit out, anywhere you need to go. And where this really pays off is if you travel a lot, like me. Now, if I'm playing a big game of Civilization at home, which you can do for hours and hours, and I have a long flight, a train ride, anybody who's tried to play a laptop game on a seat back tray knows how challenging this can be. There's no room for a mouse, and everybody knows that playing a game with a trackpad is not optimal. With an Ultrabook, you simply set it up and you play. You can take your game with you, you can continue to rule the world no matter where you are, and that's what's amazing. So with Civilization V on Ultrabook, you might say that we're one step closer to our technological victory. Uh, good luck and have fun.